What's going on guys? Welcome to this episode of Toys, Legos, and Collectibles. On this episode, we got another 39 pound box of Legos and we're gonna break it down. We're gonna bust it open, break it down, tear it apart, and we will find out exactly what's in this box. All right, so here it is on the floor. You can see it, about 39.5 pounds of Legos. Now the guy had these posted for $90. It was up there for about two months. I messaged him. Uh, the only reason I didn't pop on this earlier, or ask about it earlier, was he said that there weren't any minifigures or there were a few minifigures. Um, and I couldn't really tell from the pictures how many there were or what sets they were from. But uh, I, talk, I was talking to the guy and I asked him, I said, look, man, I'm really only interested in minifigures. Uh, if you want it, I'll take, uh, I'll take them for 60. So he agreed to the deal. He said they were his kid's Legos and his kid was just trying to get rid of them. So he had all of the minifigures in there already bagged up. Nothing too exciting in there. There's a couple pilots that obviously go with this plane. And then uh, there's a bag of uh, Lego Friends minifigures that no doubt go with these like Lego Friends sets. But uh, nice, nice mix of bricks. Not everything in here is uh, Lego, of course. We've got some from the car set. We've got you know Lego Juniors or Spider-Man set. We've got uh, this plane. We got the Penguin car. I'm actually gonna try and put this together. It is pretty sweet. I think the instructions are in there. Uh, we got this uh, Albatross boat. This was actually from a Marvel set. It like pops up and. Now the truck's on fire, which is kind of neat. So we'll try and put that together. It looks like the other piece to it's like right here. It's like that same. This is not an Xbox One. I am not ditching my PlayStation for an Xbox, but uh, here is, how do I open an Xbox box? There we go. More Legos in there. Uh, most notably are the, uh, the base plates. So we'll probably find a way to liberate those. What else is in here? Oh, there's a police car, so I'm sure it's from some Lego set. We could probably complete that. I don't know what set that's from, but uh, yeah, you guys know the drill. What I'm gonna do is I will dig into these boxes. Any extra minifigure parts, we'll go ahead and pull those out and keep those. Anything that's not Lego or trash, we'll put in another box. And then when we're done, we will we'll weigh what's left over, the bulk, and we will determine how much bulk we have. So I think I got a good deal on this. I'm pretty excited. So uh, let's just get started. All right, so here is our complete box breakdown. When I picked this up, the guy claimed it was 39.6 pounds. When I got home and weighed it, it was 39.4 pounds. So not a huge discrepancy. Keep in mind, this guy's, you know, he's a dad. He, you know, he's a hardworking guy. He got his tools in his truck kind of guy. So he doesn't really know how to sell Legos or the difference between Legos and Mega Blocks and all that stuff. So uh, I figured for the price, what I, I pay 60 bucks for all this, which was awesome. This is our box breakdown. Our Legos, this is all Legos. Got some base plates, and then I bagged up the wheels, the uh, windows, and then these boats. That is all gonna total 30 pounds even, which is crazy. It is exactly 30 pounds. This is our box of waste. The stuff that I'll be throwing away or putting in the toy box for my nieces and nephews. We got some uh, Mega Blocks in there. I think Caroline wants this Batman thing. It's a flashlight. Even work. Oh, goes this way. Makes a little Batman logo, so I'm sure she'll want that. But I think this is probably the most waste I've ever pulled out of a box of Legos at, at four pounds or so. But uh, you can see in there, it's just a bunch of Mega Blocks. There's cookie cutters. You know, it's just the stuff that you find in these boxes. There's a little Spider Man on a motorcycle, which that'll probably just get thrown in the toy box. Pokemon cards. Let me know if that Pokemon card's worth a million bucks. <laughs> so. That is the Lego bulk weight and the Lego waist. Let's take a look at the stuff that I'm actually going to keep. All right, so this is the stuff that I will be throwing into the collection. Uh, it was about five pounds. There was a little extra because of the boxes. I did keep the Xbox One box just in case I find an Xbox One. Um, I can put it back in the box, but uh, those other boxes were trash, so I threw them away. Anyway, we're keeping this, uh, this nice Lego tub. Now, normally I would sell stuff like that, just because I don't have room for it. But I keep my minifigures in bags like this. So these are like extra minifigures and minifigure parts. 
that I have. Uh, no longer will they be subjugated to the lowest drawer in my thing, <laughs> my little setup over here. They will have a nice Legoland, uh, Lego head uh, box to go in. But anyway, these are the parts and stuff that we're keeping. It's kind of nice to find these. These are sealed bags of Legos from, I don't know what set. Now, if they're minifigure parts or there's printed pieces, you can actually look those up on BrickLink and find out what set those are from. But we did get four bags of those, which was awesome. Um, I'm keeping these brick pieces. See how these look like uh, brick walls on this side? Yeah, so I'm keeping those. This is a Spider-Man themed set. I think it's from a uh, junior set. Um, not sure where that's from, probably the same set. But uh, I'm keeping those because I'm kind of doing in my minifigure case. You can see we've got some of those brick pieces back there. We've got some Spider-Man stuff going on. So I'm trying to build a, a brick Spider-Man little setup back there because you guys know I love Spider-Man. Got a bag of motorcycles, bicycles, and quads. Don't know what I'm gonna use those for. A uh, hook and ladder for, not a hook, but a basket and ladder for a fire engine. These are uh, translucent fire pieces. And some other translucent pieces are in there. I always keep those. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for, like I said, but uh, it's kind of cool to have them around. These vehicles, I wish there were more minifigures in there, but there just weren't. Um, these are Marvel and DC, and I'm sure they made them in like a couple other sets. But they usually come with two minifigures and two of these little vehicles. I actually have some. We'll go back to the minifigure cabinet, and we'll take a look. See, like the Thor and the Loki come on these little little vehicle he's got like lightning bolts shooting up the back but uh yeah they're pretty neat little sets and i found those last year at a yard sale i think they're like two or three bucks but so yeah i just kept those for the hell of it these are printed pieces i love printed pieces just because you just you know they make them for a couple sets and then they don't make them but there's like the cars florida 500 there's a police sign there's some uh Firefighter stuff, there's a Batman logo in there. They're just all kinds of craziness, archery things. So yeah, I like to keep those. These consoles remind me of the 80s space sets, which I have a lot of nostalgia for. And then the last bag here, I keep these winches and tow cables and all that stuff. So here, here's a couple parts that I just found interesting, so I kept them. Uh, Albatross boat, this is all one mold on the bottom is plastic. So I'm not sure when that set came out, but I'm sure they don't make a lot of those. I thought this would be cool for the Spider-Man set. It's basically like a uh, lion head that you can hook like onto a wall, make it look like an old church or something. And then this old skull was kind of cool. And his eyes, you can change those eyes. You can make those any color you want. But I thought that piece was pretty interesting. Here is the bag of minifigure I don't know, accessories, parts, I'm sure there's some other stuff in there. But you know, the, the guns and the arms and dishes and everything else. Kept those. I found this cool Christmas tree part. I don't know what that's from, but I really liked it. We got a bag of Lego Friends, which we will sell. We're going to throw these up on eBay. I think I can probably get like 15 bucks for that. So if you think we paid 60 bucks for the whole lot, 15 bucks, we'll probably get back on that which is nice. And then I'll set up the uh, the minifigures that we got. All right, so the guy said he cleared all the minifigure parts out, um, and there was like six or seven of them in the bag, so it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So he, there were more, there were like twice as many as he pulled out. Um, but this, this is what we ended up with. We got a sheep from Minecraft. Minecraft where the men are men and the sheep are scared. We got these dress pieces. I've never had any of these in the uh, minifigure collection before, but uh, yeah, they're pretty neat. They're uh, two by twos on the bottom. They're not like regular mini mini people feet, minifigure feet. Uh, I got some extra legs and some faces. These are all the people we got. Mostly Lego City, um, firefighters and cops. There are a couple pilots. Here's a pilot. Kind of goes, I think, with that plane set. There's another one. Uh, but the best one in there, I think, is this Zane from Ninjago. It's pretty awesome as both the swords. I really like that figure. I like these uh, these sword sheaths that they made for them. It's pretty sweet. But um, yeah, pretty cool. Oh, and then his head. Let me get his helmet off here. His head piece is actually the boxer piece. I don't know if that's coming through. He's got a grill. His teeth are gold. His upper teeth are gold. 
And then the back, it's like he got punched and he was crying. But that minifigure head is actually from the uh, Lego minifigure series, whatever it was, where it had the boxer in it. So I thought that was cool. I'm going to leave it like that just because uh, the gold teeth matches his helmet. But, okay, so did we complete any sets? I don't know. Let's scope it out. All right, there really wasn't that much to complete out of this box. Uh, I'm sure there were some sets in there that you could have completed, but really it's a time management issue. Do you want to spend hours and hours and hours sorting through uh, all those Legos to try and find two pieces that you need for a set that's only worth like 10 bucks? You know what I mean? So uh, first thing I did was I went after these cars. There were a couple more of these Disney cars, cars uh, that didn't have the parts. But we were able to complete two, a Lightning McQueen, the fabulous Lightning McQueen, and uh, Dino Co. Sadly, I have never seen Disney cars, so I don't even know who these characters are. Um, and we completed the hauler, which is nice. This is a pretty cool piece. Let me slide these out of the way and move this guy here. It's got some length to it. This bottom part is all one mold. Uh, the bottom of the hauler comes down, and the cars actually do fit in there, but you have to slide them in. Like, they have to be very specific which is kind of cool, but uh, printing printing on the side there. And uh, all in all, it looks nice. It's a nice big piece that has a lot of color to it, a lot of flair. So when I put it in the curio cabinet, um, it'll stick out, which is nice. You want to draw people's eyes to uh, your Lego sets in the curio cabinet, which is cool. But we, did, we did almost complete one other set. I'll show it to you. All right, so out of that entire box, there was one set that I wanted to be complete. It is the Penguin Arctic Roller set 70911 from Lego Batman the movie. This thing is a really cool, uh, really cool set. It is now retired. So if you're into Lego Batman or if you're into like, I don't know, Lego sets or whatever, uh, make sure you get your hands on this one before the prices start to skyrocket. Um, but it does have some really cool play features like the, uh, the, the fish here is a missile. So you can take those off underneath. You can see right there, there are some pistols. And I'm not sure if those were meant to simulate the exhaust from, you know, like a 1930s car, or if those are supposed to be hidden weapons. Uh, in the front, you can see I'm missing one of these headlights. It actually comes in three pieces. You can see the clear, the gray, and the gold. Well, I have the second headlight, but it's only the clear piece <laughs> and the gray piece. I'm missing that gold piece that attaches it. Uh, to the headlight there but it is on order i've got it on my bricklink wish list so we'll get it when we get it you can also see these two blue bulbs sticking out those are actually missiles there are some spring-loaded pieces all you gotta do is push down on the plunger and they shoot out which is uh, very cool the other side of the vehicle is pretty much the same and when i mean pretty much the same i mean exactly the same the rear of the vehicle meant to again look like a 1930s car also has a very cool play feature the back opens up, and on the inside is Penguin's escape pod. He's got a little escape pod in case his Arctic roller gets blown up. But uh, very nice play feature there, very cool. And that is it. We just need that one piece for the headlight and the two minifigures, and this will be a complete set. And we will get that in our LEGO minifigure display case somewhere. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you had an awesome time watching me break down this box of LEGO. Take care of yourselves and we will see you on the next one.